My, my, my. You're, you're, you're what? I never thought I'd see this place again. Do you want to go back to the Enchanted Cottage? No. I brought most of that enchantment with me. So have I. I just think, when well, this is our home and Robin's running around the other way, think oh of the enchantment. Oh, my God, I never that. <laughs> and then, of course, when I'm free of my debts, then we'll be free to get married. I know Camille is trying to build a life for herself out here, but she's got to accept that you're her brother. As soon as she does that, well, we'll be okay. You can remember, though, I, I promised Angus I would protect her. I know. I don't mind that. As long as she accepts reality. Hey. What are you doing? Going through my mail. Bills, bills, bills. <laughs> Even some of them have little messages on them that say I should pay up immediately. Oh, dear. I do hate when you get these envelopes with little windows, you know, it's never very good news. What about this job with Sean? How does that seem financially? I must say, that venture shows great potential. Really? Well, no more depressing bills and tell me about this job with Sean. Wait, look. I said no more bills. Wait, look. What? It's a letter from Jack. Oh. I like her. She's a nice little aunt in the family. It's very short. Doesn't it? What does it say? No. What is it? This is too much. I can't really read it very well. It's a bit scrawly. No, I'll tell you what it said. It's very brief. I think she was very upset when she wrote it. What does it say? It says that Janet believes it's possible Camille and I are not related. No. Yeah, she talked to the Baron, Baroness housekeeper, and other people in the village. Seems like some of them have known for a long time that the Baron may be Camilla's father, not Angus. And Janet would never have written that if she didn't believe it was true. Maybe it doesn't change anything, now. Camilla knows I, I love only one person in this whole world. That's you. Shilling for your thoughts. It's gone up in price. <laughs> Camelia, has anything changed? Now you have reason to believe that she may not be your half sister. I haven't really thought about that yet. Well, think about it. How do you feel towards her now? That's an easy question to answer. I mean, I was very angry with her when I believed she was my sister, and she said she wasn't. But we did reach one point of understanding. I told her whatever love existed between us four years ago was long gone. You're my whole life. You're the only one I love. I think I, sh I should tell Camille about Janet's letter. When? Tonight? I think the sooner the better. Then we can start tomorrow off fresh. I agree. I'm gonna try the hospital. Sometimes she works late. <laughs> I'll get that thing. Ten Slim is finding. Amy? This is Duke Lavery. I'm trying to find Camellia. Uh, I think she went down to the tenth, uh, the eighth floor, rather, to get her purse. Would you give her uh, a message from me when she gets back? I have to see her right away. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, by any chance, is Anna there? Yes. Would you please uh, tell her that Tanya Jones has been in a very serious car accident. It's hit and run, and I think that she's going to want to know that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell her. Thanks. Tell me what? Tanya's been... Tanya's been in an accident. It's hit and run.